All right, now if you're still using this default boring looking quick panel, volume panel, keyboard, the default icons, etc., on your Galaxy phone, then you might be the most boring person ever using a Galaxy phone. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but if you're still using these aspects of the UI in the default themes, then this video is for you. You can change your boring default volume panel to this, convert your quick panel into a beautiful looking transparent colorful quick panel, add some cool backgrounds to your keyboard and customize it, and change these default icons completely and add some cool effects to it. All this can be done on your Galaxy phone using Samsung's own application called GoodLog and in this video I'm going to show you how exactly you can do that. But before we go ahead, if you're new on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and become a part of Apex community. Give this video a like if you find this video useful. When you tap that like button, this video will reach many more people. So go ahead, hit the like button. And yeah, if you love customizing your phone, you might also want to download our wallpaper application, Wallverse. We keep adding some amazing wallpapers every day and there are tons of categories on the application. Do go ahead and check it out. The link for you to download it is in the description. Now let's dive right into the video. Now this is the default volume panel that we have on the Galaxy phone. It does look nice, it is transparent, but we can add some colors to it, shapes to it, and make it more beautiful. For that, you need to go to GoodLock application and search for Sound Assistant. If you haven't downloaded it, go ahead and download this module. And here you will see this option, customize volume panel and make your own volume panel colors. Now we are talking about theming the quick panel. The rest of it you can always go through and uh, learn about the Sound Assistant module. For now, let me tap on make your own volume panel. Now here you can see we have got Flex UI. This is a pretty cool option we have got. It will give you some dynamic gradient effects for your volume panel. And you can also change the texture of the volume panel. Control type can be changed from bar to knob. You can change the shapes of the volume bars as you can see from the thickest to the thinnest. And you can also create the theme. And this is how these volume panels look here. Now let me tap on theme. Now here we have got some recommended themes. If you don't want any of these, you can create your own themes. Now let's create a theme, I'll tap on plus. Now you can see we've got the circles here which are indicating the area on this particular panel. Now we can tap on each element or each area and change the colors for it. Now if you are using the phone on dark mode, then you can just tap on this button to create it in dark mode. Now let's change the elements of the uh, volume bar here. Let me just change this to maybe light green and I will change this to dark green. Now this is how you can customize a panel. Now let me tap on download, I'll enter green, tap on OK, and let's apply this. Now let me show you the volume panel here. This is how the volume panel is gonna look. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now if you don't want to do all this, you can always uh, select the default themes here. For example, let me select this blue one here. Now this is how the blue one would look. Likewise, you can change the themes here. Now let me select a flex UI. Let's change this uh, control type to maybe knob. Let me turn this on and select knob. And let's see how the knob would look like. Here you go. This is how you can increase or decrease the volume. We have got the knob right here. And when you tap on the three dot button here, you will get the same bars in dynamic effect. You can see these are some beautiful looking effect that we had. That's how you can customize the volume panel. Now let's see how we can customize the quick panel. Let's go to good luck again. Now to customize the quick panel, you can do it either on theme park or you can go to the quick style module and here you can tap on style your own quick panel. I have already created a few here. Let me tap on plus. Now let's go ahead and do this. Now here you can see all these circles are indicating different elements here. We have got almost about nine circles over here and we'll be able to change each and every element here. Now here we can make this panel transparent by selecting this particular button and I will reduce the transparency here and tap on maybe here, I'll tap on OK. Now this is gonna be the transparency. If you wanna change it, again tap on this and reduce the transparency to zero and it will be completely zero. Now we can change the button color as well as background color. I will select this as black and I'll select the icon maybe red and uh, let me select the volume bar here. I will make this also red and let me select this color, I'll make it black and I'll select the text color as white. Now this is how my volume panel is going to look. What I'll do is I will just download it and uh, add it maybe 
red. Now this is how your quick panel would look. It has got this transparent background with some red color elements. We've got red brightness bar, red volume bar, and uh, red icons on the toggles. And here is the notification panel as well. You can see we have got the black background for the notifications with white text on it, and it looks just beautiful. Likewise, you can customize the quick panel and the notification panel the way you want on Good Law. Now moving on to the next one, we can theme our Samsung keyboard as well. Let's go to GoodLock application and here we can use Theme Park Engine or we can also theme your keyboard on Keys Cafe. Just tap on style your own keyboard. Here we have got some presets. We can color the keyboards. As you can see, we've got some beautiful color combination presets here. And we have got effects option where we can use keyboard color effects and tap effects. And we can also change the sound for the keyboard when you tap on the keys you get to hear some cool sounds depending on the one that you select. Now, if you don't like any of these presets, again, you can create your own theme for your keyboard and you can also add a background. Let me show you how you can do that. Just tap on the plus button here. Again, we have got all these elements depicted in these circles. Select each element to change the colors and to change the background image, just tap on this gallery icon and select an image from the gallery. Let me pick an image here. I will maybe select this specific wallpaper here and this is how it's gonna look. And on top of this, you can also customize these elements on the keyboard. Now let me just download this and name this and tap on OK. Now let me select this keyboard here and let's try this out. As you can see, this is the beautiful looking keyboard with background image that I just created using Keys Cafe on GoodLock. Now let's talk about customizing the icons on your Galaxy phones. For that, again, you need to go to GoodLock application and tap on Theme Park Engine and this is where you can customize the icons. As you can see, we've got theme, keyboard, quick panel, icon, and volume panel option. We have already learned how to customize volume panel, quick panel, and keyboard. Now let me tap on icon. Now here, just tap on create new. As you can see, we have got an option to select the third-party icon pack. Just tap on this to select any third-party app icons which you have downloaded from the Play Store. Instead, you can customize your icons using Theme Park's own effect options. Let me expand this. As you can see, now Samsung has added film grain, dual tone, glass, and gradient. If you want film grain option, this is how it's gonna look. Then we have got dual tone with two different colors. Then we have got glass effect. If you want to create that iOS 26 glass effect on your icons, you can create that as well and you can also create gradient. Now let me just give you a quick tip to convert your default icons into dark icons. All you need to do is tap on glass and select the glass option as black and tap on done. And now just reduce all these uh, options, bring it down to zero. Now your icons will be in dark. It's as simple as that. Just download the app icon pack. Let me just name it as dark, tap on okay. And let me apply this dark icon which I have just created. Here you go. This is how beautifully the icons will look when you create dark icons on your Galaxy phone using Theme Park's icon customization option. Now we saw how to customize the quick panel, volume panel, keyboard, and the icons. Now last but not the least, if you want to create your own wallpaper on your Galaxy phone, you can do that as well. We've got an advanced wallpaper creating application called Wonderland. Let's go to GoodLock again, and I'll tap on Wonderland application Using this, we can create your own moving wallpaper or you can also create a different lock screen effect. Let me just turn the dark mode on here. Now, let me tap on create your own moving wallpaper. As you can see, we've got some very cool wallpapers that I've already created. To create it, just tap on plus button and uh, tap on gallery to pick any wallpaper from the gallery or you can also pick a color. Let's say I will pick black, tap on done. If you want to create a gradient color, tap on plus button here. Let's select maybe yellow. Done. Look at this. This looks beautiful, isn't it? It's a gradient wallpaper. You can just use this button here to uh, change the gradient direction and you can create your own gradient wallpaper here. You don't really have to look for any third party applications. Create your own wallpapers. Add more colors by tapping on this color button. Let me just select red and tap on done. Now you can see we have got yellow, red and black combination and you can change the placement of these colors on the gradient and it looks just beautiful. Now let me just create this wallpaper here and I'll just save this background. This is how it's gonna look. I'll tap on plus button here. If you want to add any elements, like if you want to add an image or a sticker, you can do that. You can also add text for this wallpaper, add a video or you can also select particle effect. Let me just select one of the effects here. Maybe let's go with this one. You can select flying snowflakes, scattered raindrops, rising bubbles, etc. I'll select flying snowflakes. You can select autoplay or touch effect. I'll select autoplay. And let's preview this. Here you go. We've got this beautiful wallpaper with this uh, effect, which looks amazing. Now let's go ahead and save this. 
and I will apply this wallpaper on the home screen. Set as wallpaper, home screen wallpaper, and here you go. You got the snowflakes effect on the home screen and it looks just beautiful. Likewise, you can also create your uh, moving wallpapers. To do that, just tap on create your own moving wallpaper and uh, you can tap on plus button and start adding the elements here. I have made a detailed video about this. I will try to leave a link for that in the description. So you will be able to create your own wallpaper as well for customizing your Galaxy phone. And of course, you can create your own lock screen effects using the Wonderland module. I have made a detailed video about that. I will leave a link for that as well in the description. So do go ahead and check it out. Now, this is how you can customize your Galaxy phone and turn it into a beautiful looking device from a boring looking default theme. Do try it out. You are going to love your phone every day. That's all I have here. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Tap that like button if you haven't done it yet. And do not forget to download Volvo's application. Of course, you cannot create these beautiful wallpapers on your Wonderland application. So go ahead, uh, check it out. The link for the application is in the description. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.